when I first heard of Section 8 and public assistance, it sounded like I hit the jackpot. Like, I'm finally here. I finally get to live a good life, rent free. I get to keep my money in my pocket because I get my rent paid. Little did I know that it would ruin my life. <clears throat> um, I got Section 8 um, after I had my first, second child. I applied to all these wait lists and I finally got it. And I got to choose the neighborhood I wanted to live in. I got to pick the house that I wanted to live in as long as it fit the budget. I got to choose how many bedrooms that I got. It was it was so wonderful. At that time, I didn't know that my then boyfriend who already had a felony would not be able to live with me anymore. So now us living together had to be a secret when it was time for um, inspection, I was hiding his shoes and hiding his clothes and hiding his belongings so that they wouldn't know that there was a man living with me, which caused tension. It caused, you know, some resentment, you know, and I'll talk about that later. But at that time, I didn't know how it was causing a separation between us, but we did it. Um, you hear a knock at the door and you wonder if it's management or maintenance or somebody who's going to see him there. So, again, we would hide and sneak around and make it seem like, you know, he didn't live there. You know, and then it became one of those things that you don't live here. You can't even be on a lease. Not seeing how it would later on tear our family apart in many ways. <clears throat>